What's going on guys, it's Shane. We are back here again with another video. Today we're going to be returning to Roblox, checking out a game called Project MX Motocross. Uh, this is a game that I found just scrolling through Roblox. In fact, I went to go play Bootleg. Uh, and you know how you scroll down and you see some of the related games under it. That's where I found it. Uh, now normally when I check these unknown games out myself, I usually find that they're not the great greatest quality of game. However, I got to play this a little bit and I decided to make a video on it. And let me tell you, I don't want to compare and contrast, but this is giving bootleg a run for its money. I'm sorry, but this is an amazing game so far. Um, just off the rip, this is the building you spawn in and look at it. It's just amazing. It's like an actual shop. Um, the building you spawn in at bootleg is just Actually, I think it's just some random building. I don't know. It was like a garage attached to it, I think, if I remember correctly. I don't know. I could be wrong. Like I said, I don't want to try to compare and contrast, but uh, this game is already looking amazing. Um, and it's like right when you first spawn in. Um, if you look here, there are tons. Uh, actually, let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, maybe even 20 tracks in this game. So this is a map of how big this uh, map is. Um, here, we are here. Um, and if you just look in here, you can like, it's, it's like an actual shop. Uh, you can buy some of the things in here, like this shirt. Uh, you can click on these and it'll put them on your avatar, which is pretty cool. Uh, I like the red. I think we'll go with red. Oh, this blue looks really good though, too. Oh, man. That's very cool. Uh, and that's like developer gear, I guess. I don't know. Um, boots. A whole bunch of boots. Okay. Dressing room back there. Very cool. Um, let's see. What about this? No, I kind of like the blue. Uh, that's not the one I'm going for. It's this one. Yeah, we'll go with this. Actually, no, I'm going red. We're going red. Okay, you got a bunch of helmets, and then on that side of the store, you just have a whole bunch of bikes, which they showcase. Um, as far as bikes go, I think it's the same setup, like same chassis and stuff as, uh, you know, Bootleg and some of the other uh, dirt bike games on the Roblox platform. So they use the same spawner, at least. It's over here on the left. Um, so we'll go ahead, and this guy's just going to run right into me, buddy. Okay. Um so here's the list of bikes that they have 250s i think i saw some 450s there at the beginning yeah there's one um very cool i don't really know my bikes so you know i just spawn in whatever um just gonna try to scroll through them here for you guys maybe you recognize one red bull man they have a lot don't they all right uh, that's a 250. I want a 450. Um, let's do this one. Why not? Why not? It's a Honda. Okay. So we're going to hop on the bike and look at the UI here at the bottom, right? It's more of a, kind of a gauge cluster here. Okay. So you have C to change cameras once again, kind of the same there. And I don't know what it is, but it seems like they got this first person down, right? Bootleg, I guess it depends on the bike. Sometimes it looks like you're above the handlebars here, but this, with this bike, it looks like you're actually in first person. I know they use the same camera script and stuff, so it's got to be the bike that's that's what that is. But, so to shift, you're going to hold uh, shift, <laughs> uh, and then you're going to press E to shift into first. Um, so shift is your clutch. Um, and you can change it to automatic by pressing M which I won't do, but, uh, yeah, look at this. All right. Well, I had to answer my door. I got a package, so I had to pause the video there for a second. So if you notice the cut, that's what it is. So, um, you have the pitter track there, which is more of a, like a kitty track. Not really. It's pretty big, but it is a smaller track compared to all the others. Um, I actually want to go to this 22 Denver Supercross. Like I said, I did test some of these tracks out. And let me tell you, the way they run, in my opinion, they're just somewhat sometimes better. Or not sometimes, but they're just 
somewhat better than bootleg and i hate making that comparison like i said but like if we look at this track here uh you can't i don't think you can actually uh right um lift the gate up i don't think at least it's not letting me here but so i'm gonna show you uh this track here so here we go oh uh, let's keep it in a second gotta get that first person son now i'm a little rusty i think yeah <laughs> a little rusty okay love the brim there and you're supposed to be able to hit that but i ruined it probably need to be in third for that but whoa screwed that all up okay well it looks like our bike is absolutely screwed okay let's just spawn it back in okay whoa okay yeah no sorry guys i'm just quite rusty i did just wake up so probably should have shot this video yesterday when i checked out the game initially did not feel comfortable jumping that and then you have this right here which is pretty cool and then you just wrap right back around which we'll try it again see if we can actually do something this time oh horrible start <laughs> horrible start okay now let's just go to a different track anyway you guys get what i'm saying it's it's a beautiful track and it's well well built very well built um so let's go to hill climb which is another track that i tried and i absolutely love actually no hill climb is that one over there with the huge hill obviously uh we're gonna go to this one pmx arena which is this one right here uh, if i can just find the gate um, i actually don't know where it is but this is a fairly big track and i like this one because it actually has uh, a cave system to it a little bit um i'll show you here in a second let's see i don't know if i'm going over this the right direction but we're gonna do it anyway whoa caught major air there so here's the cave area you kind of just go in and then back out and then i love this area right here okay and then you kind of just go uphill from here try not to die like that whoa and then we're going downhill but this game is fairly small compared to boot lake uh boot lake averages just over 100 players uh concurrent players that is uh this one had about 15 concurrent players um i don't know if that's its highest or and i know i am just absolutely screwing these tracks up i do apologize um but we have a huge box here which we can over jump <laughs> i like that um and then let's go to the hill climb here so hill climbs just right on this track uh I get on it here we go okay we have a huge jump here which goes oh right there but we missed it but like huge jumps though those are awesome once you once you actually land them they're awesome oh my goodness another huge box here dead <laughs> and i will have more videos on boot lake uh dirt bike park don't worry a lot of people like seeing that but uh i figured we just give a, a similar game some recognition if we can uh simply because i i really enjoyed this game and the uh i mean i played it yesterday for about an hour um so I feel like I know it a little bit. Do 
Man, I just cannot get anything going here. And then we're back here again. Hey, can we try hitting this again? Hmm. Totally missed it. Okay. Yeah. Actually, this one's not hill climb, though. Hill climb. Oh, yeah, it is. It is a hill climb. I just... There is a trail where you can go up that hill, which is pretty cool, but uh, it's not a part of the actual uh, thing. Man, when I try to whip, it just kind of totally overthrows it. I don't know if there's like a secret to whipping in this game or what. But uh, we'll go ahead and go off trail here. We're going to go this way. Try to get back up to the main road here. Whoa, there we go. Yeah. And you have Slay Ground, which is a huge, like, kind of freestyle area. You got a, a bunch of ramps over there. Um, to, you can see them all from there, but uh, it's one of those freestyle areas. There's another ramp there. Uh, and then there's an interesting track down here. Uh, if we go right here, another track that I like over here up in the mountains. I believe it's this way yeah right here look at this track this is a pretty cool one kind of just hop on it right here and we kind of just go up and through the mountains here i guess you'd call these mountains but uh i like it as we die and then we kind of go downhill right here look at that huge See if we can actually do something here. Uh, no. Maybe if I whip the other way. Whoa. Dead. <laughs> but it's this is another cool track. Um, this game's just filled with absolutely cool tracks, and they're all different in their own ways. Um. But yeah, you know, like I said, about 20 tracks in this game, just tons of stuff to do. Um, so yeah, if you, if you guys do want me to make another video on this game, I am totally down to do so. Let me know down below. If you guys do wish to check this game out yourself, and I totally encourage you to, um, it will be linked in the description down below. Uh, with that being said, if you guys liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.